There may come a time when it is necessary to reset the security settings in Windows 10 back to the default. Perhaps you made the wrong setting change while configuring them, or a malware infection may have corrupted the security. In either case, it is fairly straightforward to reset the settings. Security policies can be changed using the local security policy management console for Windows 10, but unfortunately, this is not available in Windows 10 Home Edition. There are certainly ways to add it to Windows 10 Home using various PowerShell scripts, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave out that option and deal with it in a later video. How do you edit the local security policies? There are two different ways. You can use gpedit.msc, which is your overall group policy editor. You can click on Start and type Group. And as soon as you see Edit Group Policy in the list, click on it. This will open the local group policy editor. And I just want to expand this just for a second. Under Windows Set Computer Configuration Windows Settings, we see the security settings here. Now, click on Start again, and this time we're going to type security or local security policy. When we see that pop up, open it up. And as you can see, this one is actually exactly what you see here under security settings. It's basically just a subset, and you can certainly reset your entire group policy, which I'm going to deal with in my next video. But this video, I only want to deal with the security settings because that is the most common area that malware attackers target. Or it's also the most common area that you can inadvertently make security changes to your computer and potentially lock yourself out or cause other issues. So let's just deal with the security area for now. Before I show you how to change it, let's just close this down. Click on Start, go into Settings, and I'm going to show you under Accounts, Family and Other Users. I've got a couple of accounts on here. I created one, with, which is a local administrator account. I also created a Steve-Test, which is just a local account. Let's close this down. Right-click on this PC and go Manage. What we're looking for is local users and groups. Expand the groups, and at the bottom you'll see Users. When we click on this, you can see we have the default settings from Windows, and we also have the Steve-Test account because it's a standard user in Windows 10. My admin users are not part of this group. I'm just going to cancel that, and the reason I'm telling you about this is to watch what happens when we reset the local security policy. So how do you do that? Right-click on Start, and you can bring up the command prompt, or you can click on Start and start typing command, and when you see it, right-click on it and run as administrator. The command that you want to type, I'm going to paste at the bottom here to make it really easy for you. There's the command that we have to type. When we hit Enter, it's going to reset your local security policy. It's also going to tell you that warnings have been generated, but you can safely ignore it and not to worry about it. Right-click on this PC again and go Manage, Local Users and Groups, Groups, Users, and you'll notice that Steve-Test account has suddenly disappeared from here. And that is something to keep in mind. When you run this command to reset your security database, any local users, you are not going to see them when you log in and you're not going to, because they have been removed from this users group. So after we've rebooted, we do have to add any standard users back into this particular group. Otherwise, they won't be able to log on to your computer. So at this point, we need to reboot. So let's just take care of that. We'll click on Start, Power, and Restart. Our system's back up now. So if we go to log in, you can see that the admin users are still on the computer, but my Steve-Test has disappeared. And that's okay at this point, because I'll show you how we can get it back. So let me just log in with my account. If you couldn't get it back, you can certainly reboot into a command prompt recovery console, and you can reset it from there. But the easiest is you'll still have your admin users. So we log in as an admin user, and we'll bring up a command prompt again. So just click on Start. Type command, right click, run as administrator. This is the first way to add that particular user back into the users group. You can certainly run a command, which I find easier than going into any console. So we can go net local group users steve test forward slash add. And that puts the user back in. Or alternatively, you could right click on this PC. Go Manage. As soon as the Management Console loads, same thing again, local users and groups, groups, users, 
and you can add it from here. But you can see the command prompt that we did has already added that user back in. So as soon as that user is back into the users group, you can now log on. So anybody who resets the security policy, please keep this in mind, because if you don't, any local users such as other family members suddenly won't have access to the computer. So hopefully this has been a help to you. Please keep in mind that my next video that I'll be releasing next week is going to deal with resetting the entire group policy in case you've made other mistakes, which is slightly different, but along the same veins as this video. So if you found this to be useful, by all means, do please take a second just to click on the like button down below and have yourselves a fantastic day.